everyone else too is going too far. I know. Why is it so hard for you to understand that I am the same person I was before you and I started riding double? Because you're not the same person to me, Lou. That's an awful sweet thought, kid. But I got a job to do around here, and I can't have you getting in my way. Well, I can't help the way I feel. No, I guess not. Well, maybe knowing how I feel will help you keep some things to yourself. Can you do that? I'll try. That's all I can ask. We tapped on this one. Feels uh, kind of unnatural to be court you know, under the circumstances. What circumstances? Well, you know, things ain't exactly settled around here. Getting ready to raise the church. Town's getting ready to stop you. Jacob's getting ready to stop me. <laughs> Is there a place we could go? Be a bit more private. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't mean that... <clears throat> oh, I didn't lay a hand on her. And you're not going to either. That's what this board is for. It's called bundling, a tradition. We can talk all night. Ain't like any tradition I ever heard about. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, tell me about your traditions. Um, well, a fella might take a girl for a ride on a wagon. Well, we've already done that. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we might take her to a dance or uh, go outside and look at the stars. Do you wish to go outside? No. I don't know. Well, you must. Surely you've known many ladies. Women, yeah. Ladies, a few. But ladies like you. That one. Ow. <laughs> I guess this board's discouraged many a suitor, huh? You're the first. Come on, pretty girl like you. No, I, I didn't say you were the first man I've known. I said you were the first who courted me. I was married. Tell me about it. I married the first man I knew. Where is he now? Dead. I'm sorry. He owned a small store. Some men came in wearing masks. They had guns. And that's when you met the peacemakers. I needed someone to go to. Something different. A people in a place that was separate from everything I knew. Well, have you found it? In a town where you end up fighting anyway just to build a church? The town is fighting, not us. Whatever. Can it really be that different from what you left? I hope so.
want trouble, you bring! You can't blame this on me! Yeah, something wrong with being trouble. You and all of you! have quite a grudge against Hickok. He killed my brother. I tell you, Marshal, you better be doing something about this. I got a small outfit. I can't afford losses like this. I don't know what to tell you, Fred. It seems like that's all you ever say. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? Three of my best steers were slaughtered this morning, that's all. Slaughtered? Where? Up on the north side of my range. It was cut every which way. It wasn't no meat taken either. As far as I could tell, it was just cut. I don't want to talk about it no more. Was peacemakers. Mm -hmm. Well, your north lines up against peacemaker land, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, don't you get it? It's just like Indiana. Animal sacrifice. I don't know about that. Oh, come on, Marshal. It's exactly why I wanted to buy their land to begin with. Three animals dead. There's only ten peacemakers. Now imagine what it's going to be like with a hundred of them here. It's like what you've been saying all along in your newspaper, coming true. Only it hasn't come true yet. And it's up to us to make sure it never does. I'm with you. Tomorrow, we begin to raise our church. But those in the town will try and stop us, yeah? It's possible. They are the gatekeepers on this journey. But, Opa, we will need help. And the cowboy has guns. The cowboy is dein Fremder. And as for the guns, once blood has been shed on the journey, the wound never heals. So, go to work. Go. You should. <clears throat> Thank you. Why don't you just go, James Hickok? Because you need this. Church, the peacemakers, more than I've ever known anybody to need anything. And because you need my help. Tomorrow, if there is violence, the ground will be spoiled. The church will not house God. I know. Good as anything can be 15 miles out of Sweetwater just after sunup. Barnett, you don't get the point. You get up early, you ride out, point yourself a little territory and the people in. Maybe even sniff out a little trouble. <laughs> Only works if trouble's coming at you from upwind. Well, you're sure right about that. You want some coffee? Information. Where can I find James Hickok? Who's asking? Name's Tyler. Tyler, huh? What's the likes of you want with Hickok? I'm gonna send him to hell. Oh. Drop it. Toss the guns. Now, 
I don't want to kill him, but I will. Unless you tell me what I want to know. Barnett, don't tell him. Thank you. I wasn't even sure you knew. Barnett. Tell me. James Creek. Scatter the horses. Fair fight with Jimmy. You're a dead man, Tyler. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more alive. Fremda means outsider. One who uh, makes trouble and then leaves. I have to write all this stuff down to remember it. You're not coming? No, I'll be there. I just got to go visit somebody first. I hurt you once, what makes you think I won't do it again? Because even someone who wants to believe Estes as much as you do still can't be willing to do his dirty work. Not now. I saw it in your eyes when Estes was telling that rancher about the peacemaker slaughtering his steers. You don't trust him anymore. You ain't trusted him since he told you to kill those animals. Come on, Marcus, help me out here. Me? Why should I help you out? Look, Marcus, you know something is wrong, you know Estes is behind it. You open that gate, maybe together we can figure it out. as well as I do, that we can't allow this church to go up. Jacob! Jacob Stokfuss! You listen to reason. This town is not going to stand by and allow you and another hundred of your kind to trample us. They ain't interested in what we have to say. Please, my offer to purchase your land still stands. I'll not look for solutions in the devil's pocketbook, Mr. Estes. You raise this wall and your whole world will come tumbling down. You listen to me! I listen to my God. Men who cannot see reason are not men I want in my town. I say, let's get them! Wait! Before you let Mr. Estes tell you what to do, you ought to know why he wants you to do it. Don't you listen to him! I agree, Mr. Estes. Listen to him. It was the railroad. Mr. Estes found out the railroad's coming through James Creek, right through the peacemaker's land. He don't care about religion. He just cares about money. That's nonsense. That's utter fabrication. Wait a minute. You convinced me to sell a stretch of my land. You said once the peacemakers moved in, it'd all be worthless. Railroad going through my land, too? Runs through a lot of your land. At least the acres you sold to Mr. Estes. And when the railroad comes to buy it back... Estes will be rich. Mr. Hickok here, he figured it all out. Everything Mr. Estes said about the peacemakers is a lie. I killed your steers. Right. Let me be. There's no reason to hit him, Marshal. What goes on between me and my boy is my business. You're right. What goes on between Estes and this town is a lot more dangerous. Your son told the truth, Marshal. It's a lot more than you can say for Estes. Pete, you had us believe in you, Estes. I guess that makes us as guilty as you, but you're going to have to pay the price for it. I sold you some of my land, too. The peacemakers just want to build a church and be left alone. I say let them be. I say we do more than that. I say we help them. It goes up! 
Eins, zwei, drei. Zeit zu sehen. Ja. Name's Tyler. You heard of me? I heard about what you do. What do you want with me? A minute of your time. We've got some business to attend to. Where are you going? Back at the house. No! You stay here. Build your church. Your kind doesn't belong here. And he does. Let's go. Please. Somebody's going to die here, Mr. Hickok. Now, I'd just as soon it be either you or me, but I can be accommodating. Put your gun down. I don't want blood drawn on this ground. Let's go. Doing this, Tyler. To save myself. And to save you. Well, I appreciate that, but I think I'll keep my fate in my own hands. I wanted Tyler to kill you. Why not let an animal kill an animal? I guess I'll just have to kill you myself. Salvation. Our kind deserves better than to die by his hands.
<laughs> and if the darkness should come and take you without warning, then I shall light a candle. Do you swear to follow the ordinal and never to stray from it as long as you shall live? Yes. Then upon that faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.